In this video, I want to take a minute and explain the concept of using templates for uh, laser engraving, various products that I do that are repeatable and I want to batch out and don't need to worry about aligning them in the laser every time I'm trying to do each one. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll build a jig, a template that I can use similar to this one, and it, I lay it out in a way in light burn such that when I put it in the laser, I can properly locate it and then go ahead and cut it the same way every time. Now, I've done a few videos in the past on this, little shorts and things like that, but I've never taken the time to fully explain the way I use the process, so I thought I would do that in this video. I hope you uh, find it interesting, and at the end of it, you should be able to uh, identify how, no matter what you're making, if you make yourself a little template or a jig, you can continue to repeatedly do that uh, process over and over again every time you want it. I just save these templates and use them as I need them. When making a template, the one thing that really matters is that you've got to have a setup so that you can do repeatable cuts. So the way this is set up is I've made a template where I've got a grid, just a rectangle around the edge. I pre-cut several of my medallions. In this template, I can cut 60 medallions at a time, and I can cut the front and the back without any problems. All I have to do is take the medallion and flip it over without moving the template. So I just flipped it over, and now I can do that side. If I want to do this side, I flip it over and do that. So any medallion I have that's that size, I can repeat pretty quickly. The key is making sure the template itself is in the laser in the correct position. And the way I do that is, again, by lining up on these dots or these square corners. Once I line up on those square corners, I know that when I cut this pattern, it's going to be perfect. Now we're in the Lightburn app, and you can see my medallion templates. I keep this saved in my file folders for templates and let's look at how it's set up you can see that there is the rectangle around all of the templates and there's 60 circles here those are all tools uh, tool path down here t2 so they won't cut and now I can just align whatever I want in each medallion I can flip this over and put my fronts on there or I can put my backs the key to how to be able to use this template is to be able to easily locate where these are in the laser. So here's what we need to do. We first have the laser on absolute controls you can see over here to the right. And then we use the locate function to make sure that we are locating the laser beam right in this corner then in this corner and if we want one more check we can go to this corner or this corner to make sure that the template is exactly aligned so the software will be cutting in the right location so at this time i'm going to hit the location button that's this one right here you see it light up red and uh, when i come over to the corner here and i click right there in that corner and get that dot so you see the dot there. Now the laser is a little high for where we are right now. I haven't tried to get it in focus. I'm just showing you how to locate. But let's see if we can get the dot a little finer. There we are. So now can you see the dot just a little finer? So the dot is just a little off the corner here. I've probably moved this since before. So now I'm going to put the dot right there in the corner exactly in the corner the next step then is to move the laser head now that we've got that bring it over to the other side blow it up so that i can see it better hit the locator and then i come over here to this corner and you can see it is now relocating over to the other corner Now, if the template is totally aligned, that dot will be right in the corner. 
and I can see that this dot is just a little bit off. So I need to bring this template down just a little bit. So it's right there. And now I'll do it one more time. Once again, I'm blowing it up so I can get a good accurate read. Select it on the locating button. Get right there in the corner. And now, as you can see, we are moving back over to that corner. And when I look at that dot, it's exactly on the corner where I want it. So I can do one more test. And I can go down to the bottom corner, down over here. Let's do that. We're going to come right into that dot right there. Select on the locator, blow it up, get right there on the corner. And again, that is right on the corner. So now that I know that that template is accurately aligned in the laser, I can go ahead and start cutting as long as I don't move it on my screen. So there's the following key functions. I can't move the design here in my software to any other location it'll throw it off if I do that. If so, then I need to go back and do that locating function that I did just a second ago. In summary, there's a couple key things to making these kind of templates work. One, have some kind of targeting rectangle or bullseye marks or something around the template so that everything inside aligns exactly as you have it set up in the grid. Two, use absolute controls over here so that you know that you're going to the exact location in the laser when you use the locating button. Three, use your locating button over in this corner, over in this area, to locate the various spots on the grid that you've marked. Once you've located the various spots, then you can align and realign your wood to the target locations or your template to the target locations to get it perfectly aligned. That's all there is to it. You can do it with this template. I also use it for other templates. Let me show you another example. I'm going to go ahead and open another template. I keep my templates in this template folder. So here's an example of my slate round coasters. When I'm doing slate coasters, you can see I've got four round coasters here, and these coasters are actually for my flight boards that I put on. You can see that what I've done is build this grid. And so when I want to know where to locate this template, the first thing I will do is call it up in the software. I will then go to the locating button. I will select that right there and you can see that I've actually located that template in a whole different position on the bed because I was using another part of the bed so now that I have that all I would do is align my template so the first dot is there and now I can start the alignment process that I just went through a few minutes ago it's that simple. Since I'm making this video on templates, I thought it might be worth showing you a couple other templates that I normally use. Here's my coaster template. So this one, I have four four inch coasters that are round that I normally use. And this one, I have a drink flight tray that has smaller coasters, slate. These are all slate. These could be wood. 
And so I use this template and when I want to engrave on those coasters, I simply put it down. I align on these bullseye marks. Let's see if you can see those. I align on these bullseye marks, just like I did the grid. This is a template I use for my square uh, slate coasters. So I simply take my coaster, I stick it in, and once again, I align on the bullseye marks that are around the grid, and I know that I'll have it perfectly aligned. Last but not least, another example is template that I have for making my uh, Cracker Bear solid tour games. And whenever I want to carve those, this is what they look like. I simply put the solid tour game without the pegs, of course, in it. I've lined up on everything and I can do the front. Then I can turn it around and I can do the back also. Makes locating and engraving easy. Well, that's a wrap on this video. I do hope you picked up a, a tip or two. I know that when I first got started coming from the CNC world to the laser world, I really struggled with how to set up repeatability when I put the uh, information in the, in the uh, Lightburn software and locating it on the laser for repeatability, uh, multiple cuts of uh, product. So I had to discover for myself, even though there are lots of videos out there on it, how to use these uh, templates and grid systems such that I could do a batch job like those medallions using uh, this template or those other templates that I demonstrated in here. It's different in the fact that uh, I don't have a set fence that I can go against. So I had to figure out for me what would work best. And I found out this methodology worked best, which is my building a rectangle grid around whatever design I was using so that when I used the locate button, which was a big plus for me, finding that locate button in Lightburn, I could hit a location and it would tell me exactly where on my bed that laser was going to be. And that allowed me to build these templates and grids. The key to remember is that once you've uh, located this template in there in the software, if you move it in the software, you're going to have to go through the location process again. I can put this template anywhere on this bed. Then once I locate it, as long as I leave it in that spot, I'm good. Again, I hope you picked up a thing or two on this. I hope you got a, a tip or two if you're new to lasers or if you're not. Maybe it's something you hadn't thought about before. My goal is to make it easier on people uh, using their equipment and help people learn as I learn. And I thought this might be helpful. I talked many times about uh, templates and hold the, uh, bullseyes, et cetera, but I'd never gone into detail about how I physically used that in the software and in the laser. So hopefully you found that useful. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to grow this channel and also subscribe and share with friends. And if you subscribe, then you will see future content I put out content on CNC tips and tricks, laser tips and tricks, epoxy, do quite a bit on epoxy, and also on Vectric and Lightburn software. Come join the journey with me, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.